especially as you talk about this Arctic blast that right. may be happening. We're just teetering on the brink of winter, mm -hmm. and by the end of the week and the weekend, it's going to feel like we've just really? dived head first into winter. Possibly a few snowflakes. Possibly Possibly. A few snowflakes. I don't want to. I don't want to get anyone too excited if you're looking for the first <laughs> yeah. snow. Don't think it's going to be much, but there's a chance, a couple of chances this weekend to pick up a snow shower or two. Okay. Haven't seen much in the way of the white stuff yet. This. This fall into winter season, it's not technically winter just yet, but it is going to feel like it. And again, we may have the chance to see a couple of snow showers by the end of the week. But first, we've got to talk about the other kind of showers, rain showers headed our way tomorrow. Let's take a look outside right now. We'll take you out to our Parkway Central Library camera, which isn't showing too much, although not a whole lot of stars or moon visible tonight. Thanks to the cloud cover, clouds have moved in as our next system approaches from the west, take a look at storm scan three and you can see where that front is. You can see a lot of cloud cover starting to move in across the area. It is dry for now, but as we zoom back to the west, this is the system that's bringing all the changes. Center of the low right about here. Here's the cold front extending across portions of Illinois and down into Missouri. Much colder air already starting to make it into portions of the upper Midwest. We're seeing some warm air out ahead of this front, but a few showers from this first batch of moisture could get here in the morning. So a heavier rain tomorrow afternoon. Quick look at the Boardwalk Plaza. A little foggy out there tonight. Not quite as foggy as last night, but watch for areas of fog if you're out and about. Otherwise, temperatures are still mild. 46 in Philadelphia right now. 47 in Allentown. Still hanging on to the 50s there in Wildwood. And as we head down south, it's mild as well. Even in the 60s in Nashville and Birmingham right now. But take a look at the difference as cold air carves out a foothold across portions of the northern plains. It's dropped to 30 in Minneapolis. Minneapolis was just in the mid 50s a couple of hours ago, now down to 30 teens in Rapid City and Cheyenne. We hit 54 today in Philadelphia, a full five degrees above average, and tomorrow looks to be more than 10 degrees above average as we await the arrival of this front. But it's not a very nice day. Clouds and drizzle, a couple of showers around in the morning. Morning. Steadier rain comes through in the afternoon and evening. Look at all that to the northwest tomorrow at 7 p.m. Comes through the city around 9 o'clock. And at this time tomorrow, we'll be tracking active radar, especially down the shore as that front starts to work its way off the coast. But once we get that front through, we've got a two phase cool down. The first little batch of cold air comes in Wednesday into Thursday, but a sharper, stronger push of cold arrives by Saturday. And that's when it's really going to start to feel like winter. Mainly cloudy overnight, not as cold. 45 is our overnight low. And I'll tell you, by the end of the week, we'll be hard pressed to even get to 45 for a daytime high. That's the big change that's headed our way. Watch for that rain late tomorrow. Clearing cooler Wednesday, Thursday, sunny but chilly. And then if we do pick up a snow shower, it would likely be Friday night into Saturday morning. There's another chance Sunday morning to pick up snow showers. But temperatures this weekend may not make it past the 30s.